In 1956, three years after TV broadcasting started in Japan, Hitachi launched its first in-company-made TV set utilizing its own unique technology. In the 50 years since that time, the Hitachi Group has supplied a wide range of TVs to the market. In today's era of digital high-definition broadcasting, Hitachi has developed a TV series that displays realistic and clear images with powerful impact. From black and white to color, and on to high-definition TV, Hitachi's history of TV manufacturing is also the history of its response to the constant changes in broadcasting technology by creating ever higher definition images. A document of 50 years of progress in TV. The word television was first coined from the two words tele and vision. The advent of television was also the birth of a new form of information media, showing us events around the world in our living rooms. Hitachi believes in the infinite possibilities of television and was one of the first to engage in development and manufacturing of TVs. In 1960, Hitachi sold its first color TVs. Initially, they cost 520,000 yen, thus TV sets were still very expensive. However, in line with the development of the Japanese economy, TV sets soon became a popular item in the homes of people everywhere. They became one of the three things people wanted most along with refrigerators and washing machines. And families used to gather around the TV as they ate their meals. But in the second half of the 1960s, the Japanese economy rose up in a wave of powerful economic growth and over 90% of homes had a TV set. Around this time, TV broadcasting changed from black and white to color. However, there was a major problem with the color TVs of this era. It took a long time before the image appeared on the screen after switching the set on. In response to this, Hitachi developed Japan's first 100% transistorized color TV sets. As soon as the set was turned on, the image appeared on the screen and these TVs were a big hit in Japan. Hitachi used powerful advertising campaigns featuring airships, trains and character images and soon these TV sets became very popular nationwide. Thanks to this technological innovation of the full transistorization of TVs, Japan became a world leader in the area of TV technology. Thus, Hitachi's technology changed the history of TV. From the second half of the 1970s, TVs entered an era of advanced functions. People were able to control their TVs remotely instead of using the manual controls, and many people also started to enjoy watching TV individually. In the second half of the 1980s, the practice of zapping from one channel to another with the remote control began to take firm hold. In the 1990s, further innovations occurred in TV broadcasting. TV stations began to broadcast widescreen high-definition programs and satellite TV provided a multitude of channels. Thus began the high-definition era of clear and powerful impact TV images. Up to this time, the main type of TVs had used a CRT picture tube, but users began to want new and better TV displays. In view of this, in 2001 Hitachi launched a digital high-definition TV series equipped with plasma panel displays. The displays using plasma panels up to that time were almost all for business applications and not suitable for home use. However, we made a compact size 32 inch display at a reasonable price. And these displays became popular with consumers. This triggered a sudden switch to flat screen TVs in the home. Hitachi's TVs have also evolved progressively over the years. 
plasma screen TVs allow people to enjoy the full range of high definition broadcasts with beautiful images and colors. LCD TV screens can be seen clearly even from the side and reproduce movement well. Both TV systems have built-in high-definition hard disk recorders and can record programs at the touch of a button. In the year 2005, shipments of flat-screen TVs finally outstripped TVs with CRT picture tubes. The advent of Hitachi's digital high-definition TV series also marked the beginning of the flat-screen TV era in Japan. Fifty years have passed since Hitachi launched its first original TV set in 1956. The Hitachi Group has always worked to ensure that its TVs offer the highest possible level of image quality and ease of use, and Hitachi still maintains these high aims today. By 2011, all TV broadcasting in Japan will have switched to digital systems. TV and the internet will merge into one, and an age of using the TV rather than just watching it will emerge. What kind of TVs can we look forward to? You can expect many great new TV innovations from Hitachi.